Hey guys, uh, I wanted to make this video today um, to address something that I think is really important for people to talk about um, and it doesn't really get talked about much, especially in my country. I think it's really important for us to be able to have an open and honest conversation about it, so I thought I would start that conversation. As many of you know, uh, my marriage to Jack is my second marriage and this is at best an awkward conversation um, and at worst really really blasphemous <laughs> where I come from. I want to tread this gently because I know that while being strong you can also be gentle. I'm not considered a traditional Indian woman in many ways and so I can't understand the struggle of not only being judged by others for something so personal and so brave but to also share the mindset of the people that judge you. But I can definitely empathize because I do understand deep-rooted conditioning. And yes, it is brave, even to me. I've always been able to walk away from things that made me depressed or unhappy, but um, I want to tell you that being able to prioritize yourself and your mental health doesn't make you cold and it doesn't make you unable to love. There is such a stigma against choosing yourself and your mental health um, and so I'm going to speak from that point of view because uh, this is not going to be um, it's not going to be a bitch fest and nor is it going to be um, a justification because I don't feel like I need either anymore. So to speak personally, I think the biggest misconception that people have about women that live unapologetically um, or women that choose to get divorced is that they are loose or that they don't believe in marriage or that they take it lightly. I don't have to tell you about the depression in order for it to be valid. I don't have to tell you how doing something like this shows you what true loneliness is for it to be true. I don't have to give you proof of abuse or neglect. I don't want to give you reasons or prove to you that my marriage meant more to me than it will ever mean to you. And that anything horrible that you may think about me in relation to this, I've already felt about myself. It was me that had to go to court every two months um, to tell, to ask strangers to allow my marriage to rest because it was over and to allow me to move on. And every time felt like the first time I'd said it out loud. It was me eventually going to court pregnant and being asked to hide it by everybody in my life, including my lawyers, making me feel really embarrassed and making me feel like an embarrassment. Um, when I was 30 and I had been left and I had been divorced already in another country and I was just trying to get my life back on track. Not once was I asked by anybody how I hold it all together, being 30, being uh, pregnant, finally being with somebody that loved me enough to be with me through this and to be with me even though my last partner had not even granted me a divorce yet, had not even <laughs> refused to even give me his phone number so I could phone him and plead with him to give me my life back. Not only does that break your heart so much, but it also gives you new self-hate. Like feeling unworthy of my new partner or being unable to celebrate my pregnancy. That was the thing that turned my sadness into anger. Being forced to hide something that meant the world to me, that meant everything to me. I was encouraged to hide it. Nobody wanted to be strong for me then. 
um, and nobody reminded me how strong I actually am when I had lost myself for that time. So I believed them, I believed that it was for my own good. I got to my eighth month of pregnancy before I cleared my head enough to remember that I don't give a fuck. I'm a warrior and a goddess and whatever will be, will be. So my divorce was a long and dragged out process and eventually it did lose its meaning for me because I was able to drag myself out of the heartbreak and I was lucky enough to find things that allowed me to move on, that enabled me to move on. Um, but it was heartbreaking. Before you judge somebody that you don't know, just try and remember that marriage is a big deal. People don't just marry to see how it will go. The day of your wedding, you feel in your whole being that this is your person. This is somebody to grow old with, to build a future with, somebody to spend the rest of your life with. And the day you break those promises is a hard day, hard enough without your judgments. It feels like failure, it breaks your confidence, it shakes up your whole world. And it takes time to trust yourself again. Be kind out there, guys. Be someone that gives people hope for their life. There is no way to see somebody's real struggles in their face or on their Instagram. People only show you what they feel safe enough to show you. We all have so much to heal from. Let's um, deal with our shit <laughs> so we can stop it from spilling out onto everybody in our lives. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Bye.